Next, I want to show you how to use the Input Mask Wizard. It's a really, really helpful tool. So take a look here. I'm taking a look at the Employees table, and I'll scroll over a bit so that we can see all the different phone numbers that we have here. And notice that the phone numbers have a format of the area code inside of parentheses, three digits, dash, and then four digits. Well, someone went in and actually hand typed it in that way every single time. But what if we have a new employee and someone just wants to come in and type it like this? I'm sure we've all seen this before, right? Where we have the dashes. Or I'm sure we've all seen this before. Someone comes in and they put in periods, right? Well, we want to keep all of these fields uniform. I'm going to go ahead and hit escape there. So to ensure that, what I'm going to do is to create an input mask that all I have to do is just type in the 10 digits and the parentheses and the dash will pop up for me. And it's super easy to do. There's actually a wizard that's pretty much going to do it for us. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to head over to our design view. And I'll start with the business phone field here. Click on business phone under field names. Come down here to my field properties. And the third property down is input mask. Now, when you click inside there, you'll notice on the right hand side, there's a build button. That's that dot, dot, dot. You want to go ahead and click on the build button. All right, now you'll notice there's options in there already for us, like phone number, which we'll be using, social security, zip, extension, password. It gives us little asterisks that are there. There's a lot to choose from, but I'm going to go ahead and choose phone number. And if I ever wonder, hmm, what will this look like when I'm typing it out? I can click in Try It. See, when I place my mouse inside there, it gives me my parentheses and my dash. All right, I'll click on Next. And it's asking me here if I want to change the input mask. Now, I want you to take a look at the resource that I've provided you here for this lecture. It's going to talk to you about all the different symbols that we have for input mask. Now, when you see a 9, that means that it's an optional number. So in this case, people don't need to put in that area code. But when you see a 0, that means that it's a required number. So people have to put in the phone number, but not necessarily the area code. I'm going to change that. I'm going to make the area code required as well by typing in zeros. There we go, three zeros. All right, next it's asking me what I want my placeholder to be. Remember here, it's a bunch of underscores. Now there's a drop down. I can choose the at symbol or the hashtag. I'll choose the at symbol and give a click. See, I have my placeholder there as at symbols. I could also actually type in that box if I want it to be the letter N for whatever reason. Type in an N, click on try it. You see there are my Ns. All right, I am going to change that maybe to a hashtag and click on Next. Now here it's asking me if I want to store the symbols inside the database. All that's doing is adding extra weight to my database. So I'm going to store the numbers without the mask. When I take a look at the table, I'll see it, so I won't have to worry about that. It's just what do I want to store in the actual database itself. So I'm going to go ahead and store it without the symbols in the mask. All right, and click on Next, and I'm all done. I'll click on Finish, and I'll save this and test it out. Let me go back to my data sheet view. So I'll click inside of Business Phone, and you can see there is my mask that pops up. I'll type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. There we go. So my input mask works perfectly. All I had to do was type in the number, and it gave me my formatting. All right, I'll hit Escape to get out of there. So again, that's going to your design view. Choosing the field you want the input mask on. Going to your properties. Clicking in Input Mask. Choosing the Build button. Choosing the type of mask you want. And going through and adding any special features. All right, so when I go to home, again, there's my input mask. Really easy and really helpful.